hello hello good evening everybody so um welcome and well welcome welcome so um when i found out we're going to do mini books i had already planned on doing a uh a handmade book and then i i thought mine was a mini book because i thought a mini book could be like something with a few pages so originally i was going to show you this and i'm still going to show you this but then i realized okay i gotta uh, make tiny books so i i made i got some ideas for that but i wanted to show you this um so this is a handmade envelope journal using using manila envelopes like using you know the nine by twelve nine by twelve manila envelopes to store happy mail so i thought this is a really cool idea for so each section is devoted to like the person who sent me the happy mail so this is all one person that sent me that happy happy mail and then inside inside the envelope inside the envelope is um more happy mail from that same person that i can store away and, and use use for projects so this now that is a different that's a different person here and uh, pockets yeah there's pockets here because this person made tags for me sent me tags um so each section is devoted to a different person like i said and and then she sent a lot of printed printed i um, print prints of her original paintings yeah they're really nice and i i definitely got to use them in future projects oh yeah then i was an i was in a year-long atc hop so back and it was a seasonal thing so here's that's valentine's day and here's the here's the atcs that here and here here's the atcs that uh that people that i got that we swapped from that from the valentine's hop and then we had a halloween hop and here's the atcs that were swapped for the halloween hop and then there was an easter hop oh that's glued together oh, is that stuck together oh no i don't think so um and that's and then a christmas atc swap and there was easter too i don't know oh i'm not sure where that is i don't maybe i didn't make a page for that okay so along the lines of envelopes i came up with ideas for many books for many books for um envelopes still using envelopes let's see let's see um thank you thank you i ayala and um angie and everybody else thank you so much for being here okay i just want to uh, tell you that um i got this from when i started making handmade books which i haven't made that many but i did i made a few um handmade junk journals and i got this from amazon this pack well no it did not come with this big bone folder i don't know did it no i don't think so, so it comes with a little bone folder like that the needles, the awl, the wax thread, and uh, I think it was under ten dollars at Amazon. Okay. So along the same lines of along the lines of envelopes. Okay, so you can get you can use business size envelopes and then i before i'm gonna sew it i i you see it with scissors i cut out the little triangle in there there two angle lines because otherwise once it's sewn you wouldn't be able to flip up the lids so Yes, like um, Juanita was saying, I, well, I can understand people like miniature things. Yeah, I know there's people that like miniature things. I guess I, I don't um, do anything with 
I mean, I don't think I've, yeah, the, the only mini book that I've actually ever made before were the zines. They would qualify as that. And that's what um, IL, I love to paint IL Martha was making. Those are actually um, technically called zines. This was made from one page of paper, a bigger page of paper. And this one, this one was made by a, from a small, smaller piece of paper. They're both zines folded just the way that um, Ayala, I love to paint was showing, just showing previously. So if I, those are the only mini books I've ever made before. Okay, so. Okay, so I don't know, maybe you want to use happy, you can uh, store happy mail. I mean, you could store happy mail in there or, you know, ATC cards when you have swaps. But of course, there's better ways to store those. So I don't know what you'd want to use these for, but I'm sure people could think of something. <laughs> So this is going to be a simple, let's see, one with three. I saw the most simple way that you could do it was the one with you eyeball everything. It doesn't require measuring. It's just going to be a simple, wait, three holes? Wait, one, two, yeah, three with three holes. Oh, uh, and I don't, I guess I don't even need the all for, um, yeah, I should, yes, you should clip these so that things don't, and I was using the clips for these. Okay, let me just put clip these. And I, I actually, I don't need to use the all with this. And like Keisha was saying, yeah, I've already threaded my needle. Because <laughs> that's the smart thing to do. And I think I prefer having the bow, the bow on the outside. Well... But it's, let's come on. So that if you want the bow on the outside, then you have to start it. You have to start your, you have to start by pushing the needle through the outside towards the inside. And then what is that? And then. You go up to this one. And then you end in the middle. Okay. too big okay and I have a cover ready for this but before I before how did those things get oh how did they okay and I'm gonna work more on this in a minute I just want to show you another envelope idea so again business envelopes or it could be any size smaller envelope I already poked holes with the all and then in my stash, I just happen to have these by, at least I, what are these? By the seven gypsies, seven gy gypsies binder ring, antique silver, antique silver bind binder rings. Oh yeah, and I want to put the.
Okay, I need to alter that again. And I'd like to check the chat in a minute. Hold on, I'm gonna let me finish putting the rings in. Oh goodness. They move on you. I, I'm sorry, I have to do that off camera because I don't I don't use these binder rings that often or and one more. Okay, so let's see how this is when you again an envelope journal. I'm sure you could think of uses for this. Okay. And I have a, a third idea for a journal, but I'd like to check the chat. Tags and mementos. That's that's a good idea. Yes, uh, Martha says tags and mementos. And little sister crafting likes the little rings. I would like to, I'd like to say hello to everybody, but I would be afraid I miss somebody. But I'll okay. I'll say hello to hello Angie and Keisha Elvis. And little sister crafting, and I love to paint. Uh, let's see, Julie. Hello, Julie. Uh, Mary Lou's here. Hello, Mary Lou. She was a winner of one of my um. We play we played trivia, and she was a a, a winner. She's getting some original artwork from me. Mina, hello, Mina, and Arlene, and Mortgage with Me, Candy, hello, Janetti's Corner, hello, and Brittany, hello, Del Cecil Runo, hello, she's one of my YouTube blind community friends. House of X Entertainment, hello. And oh, uh, yes, Mary Atelier. Um, oh, thank you so much for. She's the one that organized and hosts this um, live stream hop. And thank you so much, Mary. H and hello, Crafting Mamas. And Danny Mac, hello. Oh, Arlene's talking about having an old phone book for something. And Jet Life. Hello, Jet Life. And Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Okay. And so, hello, everybody. Okay, so another, the third idea I have for a mini book is with index cards. Okay, so it could be either way, I guess. Yeah, with those those loops, I but I or you could fold them. So 
the well, I don't know. I just go ahead and do that. I, I know with the all, I think you're supposed to fold them individually, but maybe it'll still work if I do it like this. And most people have index around index cards around, so it's kind of a, a fast way, a fast and easy way to make a book because they're very, very uh, accessible materials. And well, you saw me sew that book. Um, that's how you, you would sew it the same way. So maybe I just won't do that one, but I, I think I'm going to start decorating this one. Oh yes, I have the cover ready for this. It's a really nice little kit to get you started. To get you started with handmade books. My first, let's see, my first handmade book, I think was a zine. When I made a little zine. Um, my next one was uh, a lot, I mean, a larger with many more pages, um, junk journal. I made, I made winter themed junk journals. Okay, so I have a paint scrapbook where I put, where many of you probably have this too, where when you have excess paint, you keep a, a book and put your excess paint in it and then make sure you put wax paper in between the pages. Maybe it would have been a better idea to have that um, on the inside, <laughs> on the inside of the book. You can have this be on the inside or the outside of the book. It's up to you what your preference is. So this is from my painty. It's a painty paper from scrap paint. So I think I would, I need to glue this the front, the cover on. Yeah, it might have been a good idea to include, to have sewed that, that cover on with it. Hmm. The other thing is that I wonder if it would hold in place the, the thing that I'm, the embellishment, I'm going to do a dangle embellishment. I wonder if that would just be good enough for holding the cover in place. I'm not sure that gluing that on when you open it, yes. You only want to glue the edges because you need that opening for that when you open and close. I'm not sure if I should glue that on. Does anybody know in the chat? Um, let me know if you know in the chat. Um, you think that's a good idea to glue it on or, or just have my dangle embellishment, which is going to go through, which is, it's going to be tied, my, my dangle embellishment is going to go around here and and ta and um I really wish I had put that on the inside now. <laughs> Could my dangle embellishment hold that in place? Okay, let me get it. I was going to do it with this leather cord. That's one option I have. I have beads, I have beads, and um, 
Yeah, that seems like it would hold it in place. I hope I'm not off camera. Okay, so um, if I tie this, I wonder if it's going to be too bulky of a knot. I mean, yeah, it will never. I think I, I need to tie this with some of the wax thread. That's just what I have handy right now, a little piece of the wax thread and tie those two strings together. Because if I made a knot right here, it's going to make this go up like that and it'll never hang down. It won't stay down. So let's try this. course then you have that to showing so I you could make it long and have it be part of your dangle or cut it I don't know what, or I, I could have a, a I could have a bead I'm gonna conceal it within a bead because okay I have beads right now for no oh no see look at that it's loose right because <laughs> you have to have this nice and tight oh, let me see what you said in the chat about okay I, I pulled this down I tightened it I hope I'm on camera. Oops, that did that come loose? Well, let me see what you said in the chat about gluing. If anybody said, thought gluing was a good idea or not. You can redo it. Oh, you mean I should sew that cover on? Can I fold it back the other way? Oh, hi, Beverly. I never said hello to you. Oh, and Mary Lou says she would re-sew it. Yes. Okay. I like that's a better idea. Let's just resew it. It's easy enough. Just get the bone folder. Time flies. Whoa, time flies. I can't believe it.
Okay, let's thread the needle. <laughs> Oh, I, when I was off camera, I, I was able to thread this needle pretty good. Now it's giving me problems. Even though I cut, I cut this in an angle. Maybe you shouldn't do that with wax thread. There, there I got it. So this time I'm going to have the bow in the middle. in the center, in the middle of the book instead of the outside of the book. That's long enough. Okay, let's see what time it is. Oh, I can't believe I have three minutes left. Okay. I got through everything I wanted to get through. I I, I over planned and just in case, I mean, I can um, do some decorating, decorating of this. Uh, okay, yeah, that that's it. I was going to add the embellishment. That's much better sewing it on. Okay, now where's my um leather cord? Must have fell what it fell to the floor. Oh my goodness, where was my that big long leather cord? <laughs> oh wow. That's I don't know where anyway, I have these beads, I have these really nice these beads that we're going to, I was going to string on the leather cord. These are going to, these look really nice. Okay, here it is. Again, there's that problem. Okay, I'm just gonna tie this on. But at least the cover stays in place. Uh, before you even tie it on, I mean, you can, yes, I can start threading beads. For right here, for the, for the spine of the book. I love this color. I think I just put three beads there. These are nice wooden beads. Um, oh yeah, they're gonna fall anyway. So I should I should put five beads there. So that's nice, like that. Okay. 
and I bet it's I bet my time is up oh there we go okay that's that was good putting that knot there that's fine and more beads could be uh, put there put there so there's a mini envelope book And then there's the index card book, which you could make on uh, another envelope book. So there you go. Thank you for uh, visiting. Thank you for joining, joining the hot. Well, thank you for everybody hopping. It's really, uh, this is a really wonderful event. So uh, yes, the next person is Lisa, my eclectic life. And um, it's down in the description box. Her link is down in the description box. Hello, Jersey Crafter. Welcome. But and we're just uh, finishing up right now. Oh, hello, Kathleen. Some other new people have joined, and we're just finishing right now. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Oh, April. Hello, April. Thank you, April. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Brittany. Uh, okay. And thank you, everybody. And Little Sister Crafting. And okay. Thank you. Thank you, Keisha. Yes, they're nice beads, aren't they, Mary Lou? Thank you. Thank you, Candy. Okay, everybody, I guess we're going to the next, we're going to Lisa now. Bye, everybody.